Hi, in this video, we're going to go over how to download, install, and authorize the MPC 2.0 software with your MPC Touch. This video is for new MPC Touch users as well as existing users that just want to update to the new 2.0 software. First, we need to log into our user account. If you don't have an account, you can create one from the login page. Once logged into your account, you need to register your MPC Touch by selecting Register My Product. Select the MPC Touch and use the serial number on the bottom of your MPC to register your product. Be sure to include the parentheses and the capital A. Enter the date of purchase and select Register My Product. Now that your MPC is registered, we can start by downloading the MPC 2.0 software. You can find more information on the other included software at the links provided in the description of this video. Once our download's complete, let's find the MPC installer and start with the installation of the MPC 2.0 software. Just follow the prompts on the screen. On Windows, just follow these prompts to install the MPC software. Once the MPC software is installed, we can start installing the drivers. Let's start with the audio MIDI driver. If this isn't your first time using the MPC on this computer, you'll notice that the drivers are already installed. You can skip this part of the tutorial. For this part of the installation, let's have our MPC Touch connected to the computer and powered on. For Windows users, follow these prompts to successfully install the audio MIDI driver. Once the driver is installed, we have to restart the computer. We'll have to restart the computer after every driver installation in this process. Once the computer is restarted, we can install the Touch driver. For Windows users, follow these prompts to install the touch driver. Once again, we'll have to restart the computer once completed. Once our computer is restarted, we can install the final display driver. On Windows, follow these prompts to install the display driver. With the final driver installed, we can restart the computer one last time. Now that all the drivers are installed, it's time to authorize the MPC 2.0 software. The authorization code can be found under the included software in your Akai Pro user account. Once you copy the code, we can paste it in the iLock manager. If you don't have an iLock account, just go to iLock.com, create an account, and download the software. Once logged into your iLock account, Select Redeem Activation Code and paste your code in the first box. Choose the location of where you want the software authorized, in this case our computer, and select Activate. The MPC software is now activated and ready to be opened. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on our most popular tutorials, check the links in the description below. See you next time.